good money there. Jim Crockett paid. And I know he just passed away. He was a good friend of mine, Jim Crockett Jr. But he paid good. He paid good. Do you have any memories of him? Wow. Yeah, him and George Scott both. And Jimmy and both of those guys aren't with us any longer. And George Scott was, uh, he went up to New York when I went to New York and he was a great help for me too. Jimmy, Jimmy Crockett was, had a lot of pressure on him because his dad had passed away and he's the one that really started Crockett promotion. So Jimmy had, he had George Scott who really helped him a lot. George Scott was a good organizer and Jimmy would always have meetings once a week with the guys, the top guys. And I love Jimmy Crockett. In fact, he, uh, George Scott and Jimmy Crockett asked me and Ric Flair to come with him. We were supposed to go to Dallas and hook up with uh, Bob Geigel or somebody like that or Bill Watts and go duck hunting. And I'm thinking, I don't want to go duck hunting. I hate ducks and I hate shooting animals or birds. And we ended up going to Dallas and we're at a bar at the top of the hotel and we're all drinking. And this is back when they had late night flights, right? And Jim, we're all getting drunk and Jimmy goes, let's go to Las Vegas. And we we already checked in the hotel and everything. We just grabbed our bags, went to the airport, flew out of DFW to Las Vegas in the wee hours of the morning. And we stayed here for about three days. Unbelievable. I remember Jimmy Crockett walking around. I went to bed, I was tired when we got out here. He stayed up all night gambling. And we went down and found him, me and Rick Flair. And he's walking around and money is just flying out of his pockets. And so we grabbed the money from him, took it back upstairs to his room. He, he was just, he was a mess. People that gamble a lot and drink a lot, you know, he's like, you know, they're in outer space, you know, you can't even get to, hey, don't you think you should take some of that money upstairs? And, but I remember nothing but a good time on that, on that, uh, I was married to my first wife back then, and I never even called her. <laughs> I, I, that's probably why we got a divorce, but that was the beginning of the end because, whew, being with Ric Flair back in those days, oh my God, he was a wild man. And I I was quiet, and but I was wild too a little bit. So I was, you know, I always think of Jimmy Crockett and I think about that time we had in Vegas together. And here we are in Vegas now. Was this when you and Flair were tag partners at the time or were you just... Uh... I just came, just had gotten in, so... I came in in 76 and they tagged me up with Flair. And then, so I think it was probably 77. Seven, it was before I went to New York. So it was either 77, 78 that we were gonna go on this duck, hunt, duck hunting thing or geese or whatever you call it. I don't even like to shoot animals. And I, I hate guns, so. <laughs> but what, what a good time. And, and Jimmy Crockett just passed away, and it's like two, three months ago, right? Yeah, very recent. I heard he was in ill health, and uh, and he was living in Dallas. Real sad. But I, I still, you know, I'm good friends with David and Jackie Crockett. Great family. <laughs>